Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy and a blessing to be out here greeting you and pointing you to look inwardly to discover your higher self, discover your creativity, discover your divinity so that you can be able to live a life of happiness and prosperity. That's the reason why I want to speak to you concerning our ancestor Abdullah and how he taught Neville Garden the law of polarity. Now the law of polarity states that everything has its opposite everything has its opposite. So you have to understand everything is shadow and reality. Also you have to understand that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. That the Bible is not literal, neither is the Bible secular history. That's the reason why the scripture says in Deuteronomy 32, 39 that I am God and there is no other. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. And in Isaiah chapter 45 verses 5 to 7 say, I create the darkness and I create the light. I create the good and I create the evil. And then it says in Amos 3 and 6, can evil be done in a city and God haven't done it. Now, the reason why I choose to speak on the law of polarity, it is because it is of high concern to me to see how much people believe that God is good all the time and that all the time God is good. And in many, many times in church they say, God is good. And the congregation will say, all the time. And then they will say, all the time. The pastor will say, all the time. And the congregation will repeat, God is good. Okay, but when you read the Bible, you see they're actually contradicting the Bible. And the reason why they're doing this is because they do not know who is God. Many believe that God is a power outside of themselves. Many believe God is a man in the sky. But very few fail to realize that it is their own thoughts that is creating their reality. And that God represents the human imagination, which is the creator in man. That's the reason why St. John 1 G says, without him, which is speaking about your imagination, there isn't anything made that was made, and that all things was made by him. Many people believe that him is speaking of a man 2,000 years ago. Many people believe that that him is speaking about a man named Jesus Christ, a literal man. But that him is just a personification of the human imagination. So my brother and my sisters, when you come to understand that Abdullah was teaching Neville the law of polarity, you come to understand that he was teaching Neville Gadel how to live his life in alignment with the rest of nature. How to live his life in alignment with the laws that governs the universe and governs humanity also. Because when you understand the law of polarity, you will not get caught up in things like race and have hatred for another based on his skin color. But unfortunately, when you grow up in a background like me and you've been taught to believe a certain way, there's no way you can reach out to a people without mentioning what has been done to them and who would have done it to them and how they can free themselves. So sometimes, when a person like myself would bring a message that you want to reach out and touch everyone but you, deep within, you really wanted to resonate a lot with people who look like you, when you bring certain things to the surface, you have to do that to bring a state of awareness. You have to do that for them to exercise their mind. Because many will exercise their body, but they don't exercise their mind. I feel so good that I, I exercise my body and I exercise my mind. That's why I'm whole. That's why I'm looking the way how I am looking and feeling the way how I am feeling because I'm reaching out to the whole man. So those of you who I'm speaking to, 
concerning the polarities because I want to reach out to the whole man. Because when you understand the la polarity, you will live a more balanced life. And you will accept each and every one for who they are. And you will live a more victorious life. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I hope what I'm saying to you, it makes sense to you. All I just want to get across to you is the la polarity. So you have to understand people and the differences. Okay, because you can't have night and don't have day. You can't have light and don't have darkness. You can't have, a, you can't have truth if you don't have a lie. So you have to understand all uh, uh, these things. And you have to understand your higher self and your lower self. And you, you, you have to accept your lower self, but it doesn't mean that you have to go and live at the level of your lower self. Okay, just bringing understanding to you and bringing clarity to you. That's what the law of polarity is helping you to do. And we have to work with these laws and we have to master them so we could be able to master our universe and create our own reality consciously. Okay, so with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I'm encouraging you to like or subscribe if this message has been resonating with you. And if you haven't subscribed as yet, I'm encouraging you to do so. And let me say this, this message I'm bringing across to you, it is the single eye message of self-realization. Of which Matthew 6, 22 says, if I be single, your whole body be full of light. I'm saying when you have that experience, my brother and my sisters, you brush your crumb chakra and you come out in another form and you will experience the invisible and then you will be able to teach others about the invisible. That's the reason why I always put my hand on my crumb chakra and say to you, when you have the experience, you come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and that is the dawning of a new day in your life. And you will also come to realize that there is no way a S-O-N could be the light of the world. And there is no way anyone can tell you that without the S-O-N there can be no life in this world. It's not just not the truth. When you have this experience, you will realize what they tell you about Jesus Christ as pointing you to a man that existed 2,000 years ago outside of itself is a lie. And you come to realize also that the human imagination parallels the sun and the sun parallels the human imagination. For without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And that the sun is what powers all of humanity. Therefore, my brother and my sisters, I'm encouraging you to use your mind power to create your reality consciously. So with that being said, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.